Okay, so I just came home from work and I'm excited, not, not gonna lie, because I have a letter here and this letter is from the office of the President of the Republic of Finland. Hello Dodos, how is it going? How are you? Everything okay? You sure? Okay, let's start the video. For Reina Ramos Mabuhai, let me tell you that I am disappointed. I'm disappointed, which means that probably you guys will also be disappointed a little bit. You will see why. Wait. But first, because many of you were really curious about what I actually wrote in the letter, I'm going to read you the letter I wrote to Saule Ninisto which is pretty much almost the same letter I also wrote to Sanna Marin. Okay, this is the letter. Uh, dear Mr. President Sauli Niinisto, my name is Diego. I am 33 years old and a resident of Finland for five years. I was born in Argentina and spent my adult life in Venezuela where I graduated as an engineer before moving to the UK to pursue a master's degree. Upon completion, I moved to Australia before moving finally to Finland. I have admired profoundly the ways of Finland and its people and always share my experiences with my parents and friends. Last year, realizing the interest they had for learning more about Finland, I decided to start a little side project, a YouTube channel called Dodos Are Alive. In this channel, I highlight the culture, culture and ways of the Finns, giving my observations from the Latin American point of view with a bit of a comedic twist. At times, and explaining why Finland is such a successful country. Now, considering you are a learned man, Mr. Sauli, I have no doubt you already know that historically Latin American politics have been, well, colorful. So I won't further explain that. But my point is that the differences are quite noticeable, especially in the ways presidents handle power. I already knew before moving here that in the Nordic countries, leaders of nations are very approachable and see no need to have ostentatious lifestyles like most other nations leaders do. Flaunting power is maybe at times frowned upon even or at least that's my impression so far after living in Finland for five years. This I admire tremendously, I must confess, and I wish other nations' leaders will be like this. Now, what is the point of this letter, you might ask? Well, this is related to an idea I had of making a video called I wrote a letter to the President and Prime Minister of Finland. In this video, I want to show how I write a letter to you and another one to the Prime Minister and send it using the regular National Postal, postal Service Posti. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, get an answer. I have also to confess that sending this letter to you required a lot of thinking, especially because I did not want to get in trouble for doing so. So I write this letter to you with a bit of excitement and a bit of nervousness. In this envelope, I also placed an Apple AirTag so I could keep track of the delivery as sometimes, unfortunately, letters and packages have been lost by Posti. If I'm successful, I could get a response in the form of a letter from you with the AirTag. If I'm not, then please kindly send the AirTag back to me. I will include in this envelope a stamp too. With nothing more to say, I eagerly and hopefully wait for a response. Oh, and uh, yeah, in this part I was a little bit cheeky. Oh, and I have every year followed Lingnang Yuhlat. So at risk of trying my lot too much, it will be nice to shake your hand in the next one. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Diego Rafael Ferrer Guevara. As you can see, I sent this letter on August 3rd. If you remember the previous videos, I placed inside of each envelope air tax because I wanted to see where the letters were at all times. 
so I wouldn't be too desperate waiting for an answer, trying to figure out did the letter reach them or not, or where is it, was it even delivered. So I was for the whole month of August, uh, today is 31st of August, so I sent out on August 3rd. I was for the whole month checking, I will show you now. So in this screenshot you can see uh, both envelopes. SN is Saulininistu and SM is the one for San Nomarin. You can see that um, the letters were in the Arkioski where I left them. 9 of August I saw they were on the move and they ended up in Posti Central Office here in Lahti. The same day I saw that they were on the way on their way to Helsinki. August 10 they were in Helsinki already in Posti's central office, I guess waiting for distribution. 12th of August I could see that both envelopes were in Pa Ministry and then the Presidential Palace. Then Friday, last Friday, when I saw that Saulis Ninisto envelope was on the move, so I was really happy, I was excited. I thought, okay, I got the letter from Sauli Ninisto, I'm gonna hang that on my wall, I'm going to put it on a frame and it's gonna be a really nice story and show it for you guys in the channel, but <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, hey, there is an air balloon there. You probably can't see it from here because this is a GoPro and it doesn't have any zoom. There is a hot air balloon over there. Where was I? It will be a really nice story and then I will show you, you guys in the channel that Finnish leaders are approachable. Unfortunately guys, we failed. <laughs> we failed. Well, it's a partial fail. Well, don't skip the video yet. It's a partial fail. I did get an answer from the office of the president. But the letter I got was this one. Dear Diego, the President of the Republic of Finland, Mr. Sauli Ninisto, has received your letter. Thank you for your kind letter and for sharing your experiences in Finland and you and your kind thoughts about Finland. Please find and close your airtag and stamps. On my own behalf, I wish you all the best in the future. Uh, this is from Tuomas Telka. So thank you Tuomas for your wishes. Um, yeah. So I got the best, the best next thing from Saudi Ministro, Tuomas Telka. And I do understand the president is very busy dealing with important matters, for example this one. I saw this article yesterday in the Finnish news, the president bought a new dog and it's a puppy. So he must be very busy with that because puppies when they are young they bark a lot and they pee and poo everywhere. So. Um, but I'm sure Saul needs to subscribe to the channel, of course he did, obviously. If you wanna be as cool as Saul needs to subscribe to the channel as well. So as a thank you, here is a picture of Osku, the new presidential dog. <coughs> Not everything is lost, wait, wait. Sanna Marin still hasn't replied to the letter. I see that the letter is in the PA ministry. Maybe Sanna Marin will reply. I don't know. And if Sanna Marin replies, then for sure I promise you I will uh, get that letter, frame it and hang it on my wall and show it to you guys. Alright, again, I will keep you updated. Thank you for watching and let's see what happens next. I'm sorry that I couldn't get for you guys an answer from Saul Inist. Next time.